Hello, in this video I wanted to demonstrate how you can very easily apply one of the digital backdrops, uh, one of the lightest one with a petal look into your photograph to make it look really beautiful. This particular backdrop has lots of detail, it has the petals look, it looks very floral and it has very subtle look. It works the best for images that are shot on a neutral colors, beige, white or uh, grey. So have a look, um, what's the easiest way to apply it. First we're going to open our image and our digital backdrop. We're going to have to change the orientation, we go to image, image rotation 90 degrees clockwise and we're going to drag it over to our photograph. Control T or Command T for Mac and drag the corners, just adjust it to the right size. When you're happy with it, just tick it or press enter. We're going to mask it, so select the mask on the bottom and Control I or Command I will invert the mask or change it over. We're going to change opacity nice and low around 20. Make your brush a bit bigger. And very loosely with a wide brush, we're going to paint around the subject about our model. So very, very gently. The chair is a tricky area, so just go over very delicately on that opacity 20 still. Don't worry if you go over the head, we can always erase that. So the more layers, more delicate layers you're going to do, the more natural and subtle it's going to look. Now we're going to change the brush to black. You can go into more detail, just make your brush smaller and erase with a black brush still on that 20% opacity down. Okay, we're going to bring the opacity higher, about 80%. Remember, you can go over and over a few times and make your brush nice and big. Remember to change to white, so that white reveals. And just paint around the edges, so around the edges you can go stronger. So it gives you a nice gradient from stronger to lighter in the middle. And it just brings the, those beautiful petals out. as many times as you like. The beauty of the mask is that you can bring in and out. And then on the final image you can just change opacity of that layer to your taste. Around the head we're going to change back to black brush, change the size of it. With 100% opacity we're going to take off digital backdrop of the subject's face. Especially skin, you want to take off digital backdrop. Around the clothes it's not so crucial. And then layer flatter image when you're happy with it. And that's your image done. This particular design and many more in digital format can be found on my Etsy shop. You can find the link in the description. If you would love to have this backdrop in a physical form, it's also available. For British, we have the babypropshop.com. You can find your beautiful backdrop here there. The quality is amazing and you can find many, many designs in that shop more than in digital form. For American friends, I would recommend going to backdropsandfloors.com. All the links are in descriptions. I hope you enjoy that. If you want to subscribe for more tutorials, please hit the subscribe button and a little bell so you'll be notified whenever something's come up. Thank you so much for watching.